Today we're going to do the low voltage wiring at a hydro air system and there's a couple things you need to know. The, uh, in this case the red is the hot which is 24 volts, the white is the uh, heat signal wire, the yellow is the air conditioning signal wire, and the green is the fan signal wire. The blue wire we are not using. Um, on the thermostat you have a fan selector switch, auto and on. So if you turned that to on, it would take power from the red wire, go directly to the green, and it would turn the fan on. Um, and, then, and then if the thermostat was to call for heat, it would uh, take power from the red, put it to the white wire, and, and the heat would come on. And the same thing with the yellow for air conditioning. And what that does is it automatically turns on the fan. So if the heat comes on or air conditioning comes on, it automatically turns on the fan. So that's how that works. And then the other thing is you have to know is there's a little jumper wire in here. See where it says R and RC. So where that red wire goes in, there's another little piece of wire that goes over from the R to the RC, which powers uh, the cooling, R uh, being power C for cooling. And, um, okay, so that's it for the thermostat. So now we'll go upstairs. There's an air handler up here in the attic. And, okay, so we have, we have the line sets that go down to the air conditioner outside. And there's the control wire. So in here we have used, you know, there's five wires in this, in this wire. And so we've used the yellow and the blue and uh, the yellow being the cooling wire so we keep things color coordinated and the blue is the ground coming back from the condensing unit now the the ground wire um, uh, comes back it doesn't go directly to the ground you have to wire in a thing called a float switch this is a safety switch um, if this if the condensate the water that drips out of the air conditioner if these pipes were clogged this pan would fill with water and how the float switch works is right now the switch is down and so it's on so if water came in and this thing floated up it would shut off the condensing unit outside before you flooded the house okay so so that comes back and then connects to the brown wire the brown wire is just coming right out of the top of the air handler um, and the brown and the red come off the transformer, which is right down in here. And we'll come back to that in a minute. Okay, so the other wires coming from the thermostat were the green, which is the fan. That just connects, you know, color green, green, going into the uh, air handler. The white, we do the same thing. That goes uh, from the thermostat up and goes, you know, white to white up here. Okay, so if the heat came on, it would uh, send a signal up through that white wire um, and what that does is it goes to this circuit board and you're going to see these two purple wires coming off. It says boiler right there. Well those wires, those two purple wires come out and they're connected right here and that red and white they go down to the boiler which is the furnace which is down in the basement. So that turns on the furnace and the circulators and all that stuff. And you use the red and the white because that's like standard colors for heat. Um, now there's really no positive and negative in this or, you know, hot and cold. It's just you're just using the red and white. Um, other things are, uh, oh yeah, here we go. On the, on the door into the uh, air handler, there's a thing called a door switch. And right now I've got my pliers on here and it's holding it closed. I take it off you see it just popped open okay so this thing turns off the unit and so if you want to do testing and stuff you need to keep this thing closed so the, the pliers worked to hold that uh, to keep that closed and so we'd have power here um, the thermostat I mean the uh, the transformer that puts out 24 volts um, if, if for some reason something shorted out you wired something wrong you'd, you'd have to leave it wired for several minutes for this thing to sort of uh, transformer overheat and burn up but they do burn up so if you're getting no voltage out of your um, transformer you have to get a new one they're about 15 bucks it's not a big deal it's uh, 120 volts going in and 24 volts going out um, other things you might want to have are a, a voltmeter um, good pair of wire strippers you're going to need a tiny screwdriver for uh, working on those terminals and then uh, and then oh yeah wire nuts um, 
you might find that uh, you'll go to uh, screw that on and it, and it won't uh, attach to the wire well. What you can do is take the wire, after you've twisted it, you fold it over on itself and then, then put the wire in it on and it'll hold it tight. Um, other little things in this case are, see I've taped this wire onto the uh, threaded rod. Well, the threads are sharp. And so what I've done here is I've wrapped the tape around there a couple of times and then uh, to act like an insulator and then I'll tape the, tape the wire on after because over time uh, it could chafe through that wire and short out and then it will burn out your transformer. Uh, I think that's it. Um, yeah, that's about it. There's uh, oh yeah, some other leads coming out of here. Those are 24 volts, uh, those two orange wires, but there's nothing, there's nothing to power with those. So those are just spares. Um, so it's pretty much color, uh, you know, color to color, but you just need to know what those first colors meant uh, when we started. And then, uh, you know, it kind of falls into place after that. But all right, good luck.